We just made these two giant yard games and it got a little intense. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? Hey, so do we. And we do a new project every week. This week, we're taking it to the streets. I mean, we're taking it to the yard. The yard's by our street. And we're gonna do some yard games. We're doing two easy yard games. I wanted to do a third one, but we had a request for the first two and I couldn't get approval on the third one. <laughs> yes, one of our patrons, Kat, requested yard dominoes. So this week, we have still in this work from home posture and kids are still stuck at home. So I'm looking for something to do. To get them always. outside. Yeah, well that too, get them outside. Yeah. Because they'll find something to do inside, but it's just this. Yeah. It's <laughs> head down in the phone. So maybe this will entertain them for like five seconds. So that's what we're going to do. Some yard games. First up, dominoes. We're going with some giant dominoes. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. It's really just a four two by sixes. That's it. Done. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. This is where it gets tedious, like step two. We're gonna make <laughs> 28 cuts at 11 inches long, and I'm gonna use a little pocket saw. Move this thing. We have to use a stop block, and we're gonna set it up at 11 inches because, 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 this is 5.5 inches long, your two by six and it won't get all the way through it. So we're gonna have to flip it and cut it again so that you don't leave those crazy wonky saw marks. Using a stop block will make sure the cut is dead on every time. And we're just gonna cut 28 of these. 28. They're a little bit rough, so we're gonna round all the edges. Just get in there with the sander, round everything up, because we will be manhandling these and kids will be manhandling these, so. Nobody likes a splinter. Nobody likes a splinter. I'm gonna get <laughs> some sanding done. Step three. Oh, I caught it. Now we're gonna do some staining. This little spongy guy that's all fluffy, awesome for staining. It's like, uh, holds a lot of stain at one time. You can just swipe it down. Yes. And we're using our favorite, a Jacko Bean. Yes, these are terry cloth staining pads. And if you're doing a lot of staining for a lot of surface area, this thing is great. I highly recommend it, so that's my tip of the day for you. <laughs> Cuts time in half than using those little sponge brushes. Step four. Now we're gonna tape it down. So you can do two options here. You can just use your Cricut and create a little stencil and paint on your dots. Or just vinyl. Well, I don't know if the vinyl would stick. You don't think the 651 will stick? No, it's, no. Maybe not. If somebody tries the vinyl, tell me if it sticks. But yeah. I would use a stencil and I would paint them on. Or option B. We're going deep. <laughs> We can go Garrett's route and actually drill the holes in to the, the domino. So I made these templates on the Glowforge that I'll be able to use a router and a Forstner bit to actually set the little uh, dimples. Actually make them dimples, I guess. I'm gonna inset them a little bit. I don't want the wood to get all splintered and I don't want to have to really have to paint inside the lines. So we're gonna tape these off so that later on we can come back and paint inside the tape. We're going to tape over the sections where the holes will be drilled. 
So if yeah. it's just a three, we're just gonna put one strip. If it's six, then we'll put two strips. We're gonna come down the middle with a little palm router, and route out the middle. Give it a little pizzazz. Yeah, so fancy. And then anywhere we're gonna drill dots. And the great thing about this template is, all the options are here in the six and the five. So you'll do the one, the two, the three. They're all here, and you just need this one template. That's a better description. So now it should line up. All on blue. Great. Step five, and now we're gonna route out the little middle. Like I said, give us some pizzazz, give us some depth. We're gonna use the template that we made on the Glowforge. It's a big domino. We're gonna put it down, clamp it to the table. We're gonna run around the middle with the little razor blade. And so the tape doesn't get messed up, but we can still route out the hole and Keep it taped for painting. Step six. Now we gotta make our dimples. We're gonna use a one inch Forstner bit. See it? And we're gonna make a bunch of dimples. We're just gonna go in until we make a dimple. I'm saying like a sixteenth of an inch. Ish. Ish. Just winging it? Well, it's like a guesstimation. I mean, there's a lot of holes. Like a lot of holes to be drilled. So, I'll get good as I go. Do you remember I outlined each one of the little holes from our little template? I'm just gonna just give it a need, dimple. Do you need to clamp it to the table? No, okay. I think I can hold it. Okay. I think it'll be good. so sore. There we go. I'll be right back. Step seven. Now we're gonna paint all the little dimples. We're gonna paint them chunk paint white. That's a lot of painting too. What's great about taping them and then routing it out and drilling it is that it's already masked off for painting. So as long as you make sure that painter's tape is pressed down pretty good, you got a pretty good template to just paint away in. And then remember, peel it up before it dries so you don't peel the paint up with it. So you can actually still peel it up while it's still really wet since they're dimples. Yard game number two! We're sticking with dots. We're going with Yardsy. So all we needed was a 4x4 and a bucket. That's it. Maybe so, some vinyl. I'm going to put something on the front uh, of this maybe bucket. Maybe some vinyl. vinyl. <laughs> Step two. Now we're going to make all of our cuts. It's really just five cuts and we're going to do all five cuts with my pocket saw. <laughs> Second appearance of the night. We're gonna set up a stop block at three and a half inches because the board is three and a half inches wide. It's not really four by four. We're gonna set a stop block up because again, we're gonna to have to rotate this board so that we can cut all the way through it. I can't get through it in one cut. The stop block will make sure it's a clean cut. Both sides, exact same width. Step a two. We're gonna round the four by four off and kind of make it dice shaped. Die shaped? Die shaped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, 
Got some sanding to do. It's really just kind of rounding off each corner so it'll roll. So it'll roll. <laughs> See? A dice shaped. This doesn't, I don't know. Does it roll any better? On the grass, it'll be better on the grass. Step four. Back to staining. We're gonna stain all over our little dice. Get them ready for the next step. I don't know why I said that. Of course we're getting ready for the next step. That's how steps work. Fine. Look out, babe. <laughs> now we're gonna wrap these in painter's tape, kind of like what we did with the dominoes. But since they're so small, we're just gonna tape the entire thing. Just gonna wrap it like a Christmas present. A gambling Christmas present. Hey, do you gamble in yards? I don't know, is there gambling Yahtzee? I would guess. I would think so. Do you gamble in Yahtzee? <laughs> Let me know how you gamble in Yahtzee. We're gonna take this template that I cut out on the Glowforge and a three quarter inch Forstner bit. And we're just gonna hold it on there and start putting some dimples in. You just hold it? Do you wanna tape, tape it? it first. Tape what? No, because I'm gonna have to move it around the thing. Okay. I'll be, I'll be moving it, moving it, grooving it, giving it some dimples. Dimples still masked off with the painter's tape. Well, that one got a little wonky, but uh, otherwise, we're gonna clean this up. <laughs> Step six. Uh, now we're gonna paint more dots. More white paint. More dots. This is a lot of dot paint. Yes. Just a lot of dots. I'm actually kind of sick of dots at this point. this great bundle on Etsy that included everything you need for Yardsy. It had the Yardsy SVG, so we cut that out on our Cricut. It includes the score sheet, the instructions, and rules. It didn't take us long to realize that these dominoes were not going to be easy to transport. And with 28 dominoes at 2x6s each, what is it, 2x6x11 by each, they were going to be pretty heavy. They weighed about a thousand pounds. <laughs> I didn't account for that when I thought how fun this would be as a yard game. <laughs> Me either. And then it, when it takes two or three of us to get them to the yard, we decided we needed a box, something with wheels, something that one person or one kid could get to the yard. So we used some scrap 2x6 and some scrap 2x4s, a piece of rope, and some wheels. What'd you guys think? You guys gonna make some yard dominoes? Wait, let me tell you what I think. <laughs> I think this was way more labor intensive than I thought it would be. My shoulders and arms are a little sore. 
Yeah, he's done a lot of whining about that. In theory, it's a pretty simple project, right? You're just cutting these two by sixes, drilling the holes and painting them. But there are a lot of holes. A lot of holes. More holes than the pegboard. Yes, more. a lot of drilling, a lot of painting, yeah. a lot of staining. The staining was the easy part. It was the holes and filling these holes with paint. That was the hard part. Got a little tedious. Yeah, that's all it was. It just took a a little more time than we had anticipated. <laughs> Same yeah. with these little dice, but there's only five of these, so you know, these aren't so bad. There's 28 of these. If we did it again, I might skip the dimples and just paint them on. Right, stencil all the way. So yeah, here's my two cents. Just do the stencils, just do, do the not stencils. do the, the dimples. It was uh, probably not worth the effort. All right, we're gonna go play these games. And then we'll see you guys next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again.